On the deck of the Kearsarge, there's a bustle of activity, as from out of the skies near Midway Island in the Pacific, a parachute lowers space capsule Faith 7 and Gordo Cooper, its courageous pilot, to the tossing bosom of the ocean. A bullseye landing almost to the moment computed by the Mercury program mathematicians that allows a lifeboat instead of a helicopter to secure the lines for recovery of the intrepid pilot and his history-making spaceship. On deck, Major Cooper gives the word and the escape hatch is blown. He emerges in perfect condition the triumphant hero of America's longest space flight that in 22 orbits ate up 600,000 miles in 34 hours and 20 minutes. Pictorial documentation of a space epic openly arrived at for all the world to see. Next day at Honolulu's Hickam Field, his wife Trudy and daughters Kamala and Janita have a preferred position to welcome their hero on his first return to terra firma since leaving Cape Canaveral for his orbits to glory. Reunion in Hawaii. In the 50th state's capital, Major Cooper receives the first of the many public acclamations planned in his honor. Astronaut Cooper's family returns with him to Patrick Air Force Base, and the round trip to Florida becomes an annal for U.S. history. Heading the welcoming committee is Dr. Robert Gilruth, director of the Manned Spacecraft Center in charge of the Mercury program. Well-deserved applause for a great boost to American morale and prestige.